I'm back again. Sorry if you see me in the same outfit, still looking haggard, but I'm filming when I can. So let's just do two films tonight. So basically I am going to share with you some empties. I know I've never done that video before for, you know, candles and fragrance and stuff, just makeup before, but these empties have been piling up for I want to say a couple months. Um, it's not a lot because I don't burn candles like in every single room. Um, we have, you know, a 14 month old. I do not trust him. He's getting into everything. So I basically burn one candle in my little office area that I share with my husband and we burn it like for the day all day. So we're switching out candles, maybe like depending if it's a single wick or a three wick, two, three times a week, maybe. So I don't have a ton being just still being two months and a little bit of body care because it takes me forever to go through body care. But yeah, I just figured time to just share what I did use up so I can get rid of it. I need to recycle it. I need to empty the wax out, which I have never done before. I've tried the freezer method and that didn't really work too well. So I saw this one video of somebody pouring like boiling water in the in their empty candle jar and letting the wax kind of melt and float to the top and then they scoop it out. I don't know. So maybe I'll try that because I need to recycle these jars and you can't do that when there's a bunch of ugly wax in the bottom. So if anybody else knows an easier trick than the freezer method, let me know. But yes, I'm going to share that. But first I forgot to share with you some candles I got last weekend when we went to Eastern Massachusetts. I shared with you like some body care I did at the buy online pick up in the store Bath and Body Works. But I also picked up candles because we went to Marshall's and Home Goods and TJ Maxx since it was my birthday and we got to do what I wanted. Um, not like we don't do it all the time anyway. But yes, anyway, my name is Lizzie. If you would like to subscribe, thank you so much and thank you for joining me. And I do lots of candles and hauls and lots of Bath and Body Works. So yeah, please subscribe. Thank you. Um, so I have a Yankee candle that is in my town and their headquarters I think is like central Massachusetts or something somewhere. I remember going to like the Yankee Candle factory when I was, you know, younger and not really appreciated it then. But anyway, so there's a Yankee Candle in my town, but there was one at the mall that we went to and I only picked up this one. It's their three wick style jar that's like this. So it's kind of like wider and lower. Uh, pumpkin Patch Treats. It's not the best packaging. Um, this is the lid and there's no notes. So that kind of is annoying. Um, but you know, it smells good. It smells like almost like white pumpkin by Bath and Body Works. So similar to that, they do have one though that I am going to get when it comes out in the large jar style, which they said should be soon. And they're having a sale, I guess, buy one, get one free next month. So I'm waiting for that. Uh, pumpkin, I don't know, pumpkin banana scone or something like that. Something that sounds amazing. And I was like, well, if they're having buy one, get one. Cause their, their candles are pricey and they don't really have like super great sales. So, um, yeah, I figured maybe I will splurge and do a couple then, but I decided to get this one now. It was like $15 or something. And they did include a free sanitizer two cents either this one lemon lavender or the other one but I tried the other one and no wonder why they're free there's like straight up alcohol smell I did not smell anything scented just alcohol so whatever free sanitizer <laughs> so then after Yankee Candle we went to Marshall's Home Goods TJ's I don't really remember which one was which but look at this huge freaking candle Himalayan sea salt latte by DW home. Um, I have all the latte candles. I think most of them, most of them, uh, but they're like the single wick versions and they're like half the size. And I know, I know they have large jars, but I didn't, even, this one seems larger than the large jars, but I could not resist it's two wicks. I don't see how it's like sea salt. It just smells like coffee and chocolate to me, but I love the jar and how huge it is. It, it's actually pretty impressive. So I had to get one of these. They had, I think three of them, but I only got one because they were kind of expensive too. They were like $16, $17, which I normally wouldn't pay for a DW candle at home goods. But anyway, I just cannot leave that behind. And then they had this 
other large jar, toffee caramel latte. And I got this one because look at that. Well, besides the scent, but that lid is just so cute and fall and mm, this one, sweet caramel coffee. I love coffee notes, love chocolate notes, love sweet notes. So yes, that one is huge as well. I don't think it was as expensive as the sea salt one, but it was kind of pricey still too. But yes, that one. And then I got a sweet tea and rum. This one isn't like that strong in my opinion on cold. You kind of get the tea note, but I really like tea notes, but I wish it was a little bit stronger. But I was like, like you haven't seen it before and it's the two wick. So just get it. I was surprised to get this one, but I think it smells pretty good. And I like the, the packaging. It's kind of classy on this. Uh, sea salt and marine. This kind of brass label and wood top. It smells fresh and kind of like oceany, aquatic. Yeah, I don't know. I just liked it. Dan liked it. I'm like, yeah, maybe we'll just burn it in our office. Exotic acai this zebra print lid and it's just fruity and berry and it smells good and then <laughs> my mother-in-law Nancy was so nice hi Nancy uh she found this for me she said it was like push back sorry if you hear my husband he's playing video games push back and the way back behind other candles but she knew like this was a scent that I love and was looking for if there were like I already have a couple but if they had more to definitely just get this. And so she picked this up for me. Root beer. Love it. And the cute little lid. And I just love, love, love root beer scents. Mm, and it has this little spicy kick note to, to this one. Yeah. So very happy. I got another one now. And last was this brand. I should not be getting any more other brands like and falling in love but I figured I'd give this one a try James and Maria organic company it's 16 ounces of love non-toxic hand poured in the US 20% of all profits are donated to help low-income families establish a brighter future through a renewal and education that's really nice I didn't know that I didn't like really read that um, but this one is oatmeal cookie and it's just like a kind of mason jar plain kind of label lid and simple with the black Smells like oatmeal cookie. Mm -hmm. Yep. Single wick. But so I thought I would give that a try. But yes. So sorry. Those were all the candles I hauled last weekend as well. And I also wanted to give a shout out to um, Brittany. She is just the sweetest person I met here on uh, YouTube. She does a lot of candle videos and hauls and goose creek and everything and so i started watching her videos and just love how you know nice she is and her voice just is so pleasant and everything and her whole candle reviews and notes and scents and uh so check her out i will link her channel below she gave me some love on her last video because we you know are starting to find DW candles, um, you know, at the Home Goods and TJ's, and she made an order online and placed an order. So you should really check out her channel and subscribe and go ahead and follow her if you really love, you know, candles. Of course, that's why you're here. Hopefully, I don't think it's for me really. Um, but anyway, so let's get into these empties. I'm not, you know, the hugest most knowledgeable candle scent person. Of course, I like what I like, and pretty much will. You'll see a lot of similarities here in these scents, but let's get started. Um, so just a couple of body care items. I did use up a winter candy apple confetti moisturizing body wash. I have two of these um, from SAS and just figured time to use one up. I cut it open and used it and it's kind of messy, but it smells good. It's sweet and, you know, I didn't mind the confetti flakes. I don't think that they got stuck you know, all over or in the shower or anything, they seem to wash off fine. So I didn't mind that too much. And it is, you only need a little bit and it like lathers up really well. Um, my husband used up his Paris shower gel. This was just like kind of purchased on a whim. We weren't sure what it smelled like really with the masks on and everything, but it was fine. Uh, Kino's cedarwood orange zest hint of musk. Um, not our favorite scent for men's, but it was 
good while it lasted. Uh, used up a sunshine and lemon soap. I used this one up because the cap broke when it arrived, but I was still, you know, able to dispense the soap. And it's just a, it's very grapefruit note because it's yuzu grapefruit and sun rays, even though it has lemonade and lemons on the thing and it's called sunshine and lemons, but you get that grapefruit note and I love grapefruit. I don't know why it's kind of misleading with the name. And I did use up this older packaging Jamaica pineapple colada deep cleansing hand soap with coconut oil. I mean, who remembers these deep cleansing hand soaps with the little microbeads and how they don't make them anymore. And now they have the gentle gel, which I really don't like. Um, but this is a blend of juicy mandarin, green pineapple, and vanilla milk. I don't really remember. I mean, it was good. I think I love pineapple um, scents. My husband does not, but we use that. And I don't have much soaps because I really wasn't saving too many. And we really didn't go through that many because I just use them in our bathroom up here. And we usually like wash our hands in the kitchen or downstairs bathroom. And we share that um, with my parents and they have their, their own soap that they use. So uh, I did use up a wallflower, my first wallflower, which I am impressed with. I just use it in the bathroom in the upstairs. So, and it does like permeate the bathroom and kind of the upstairs a little bit, but laundry day. And that was, it smelled really good. It, uh, scent notes are fresh air, crisp eucalyptus, soft lavender, and it just smelled like you were doing laundry. So very nice there. Um, it lasted, I want to say a little over a month, maybe in the, um, controllable, uh, wallflower plug so I always like had it on medium because I felt like high was like too high um but medium I think was just nice enough um so a little bit over a month and it really did get like all the way to the end it didn't like leave any little bit near the near the bottom there uh and then I replaced it now with Caribbean Escape and no I'm not liking it I can't wait till it's used up it is tropical melon raspberry nectar creamy coconut milk but I just feel like all I get is that coconut I hate coconut, so I got it for free. I didn't buy it, so I think somebody sent this with a Mercari purchase. So I was like, well, let me just use it, and it's summer, so maybe, like, right out the end of summer with it, but I don't like it, so I can't wait till that is gone. And then I have some pocket bags, not all of them. I, you know, had tossed some before and didn't remember to save any of all of them, but Kindness is cool. Blue raspberry snow cone. Love it. Love it. Love this scent. I have like 10 of them. So I actually did use up one marshmallow pumpkin latte. I had said before that I don't like this when I used it, but when my husband used it, I always like, was like, Hmm, what's that smell? It smells so good. And it smelled good on him. But every time I used it, I was like, Oh, it's just too, you know, I cannot get, get down with that pineapple colada. That was a nice pineapple tropical scent. Another pineapple colada. That one still has a little bit in there, but um, twisted peppermint, nice minty scent, but it's also like a little bit musky too. And I think that was, yeah, all of the like body care and stuff that I saved. Okay, let's get into candles. While I have hundreds and hundreds of candles, I am very picky about which ones I will burn. I like collecting them. I like having backups. I like making sure if I am going to burn one and I like the packaging, I'm going to have another one already still in my collection. You can call me crazy. You could call me a hoarder. That's just how I am. And I know that's how a lot of other people are. So when I burn candles, I burn them knowing that I'm okay with it leaving my collection or I'm okay because I have a backup. So a lot of these actually are not Bath and Body Works candles because sometimes it's just too hard for me to choose one that I am willing to part with at the moment. So I do Goose Creek, I do DW, and some Bath and Body Works singles. So that's the majority here. So one of them I just recently burned is Goose Creek Cold Caramel Latte. And look how messy this was. Look at that. <laughs> Now, this is not a good example of Goose Creek candles. I do think they burn really nice. They smell lovely. And usually it does not get all janked up like that. This one was not a favorite. It was very light when burning. I could barely smell it. And then it got very dirty and 
uneven, burned uneven, and yeah, it just could not rectify itself or anything. So that was the end mess and goodbye to that one. So I know not to get that one again. I burned one of my DW cereal milks in the larger two wicks, the cute lid there. Oh, so this one, do not factor that in to this candle because that in there is one of the homeworks three wick candles from that you could buy on Ulta, but now I think they have them on their website. The Butter Toffee Crunch something or other candle. It arrived from Ulta broken, but it was broken where I could just kind of slide it out of the cracked glass. And I was like, well, it's still a good candle, so I should just burn it somehow. So I stuck it in this empty jar because it was like just kind of the perfect fit for it and burned it. But then of course, because it's not really like stable on the bottom with the, with the, um, wax clips, it did dud out halfway. I want to say halfway after and drowned out the wicks. And yeah, I was like, okay, well that's, and it was very, very, very sooty. So I was like, okay, enough of that. And I could barely smell it anyway. So, so that was what happened in there, but cereal milk, when that burned, it was fine. It pulled fine. And while on cold, it smells just like the um, the Rainbow Sprinkles by Bath & Body Works, like, you know, fruit, Fruity Pebble cereal, it was not very strong when burning. You could sort of smell it, but not, like, intense. I felt like it smelled better on cold. I still enjoyed it. It just did not, like, fill up the room. Spa Day, also by DW, if you can read that there. On cold, it smelled so good cold it was like spearminty nice refreshing spa like a spa burning no throw no scent and look at that soot look at that like I'm not one okay I am not a candle caretaker babysitter I do not trim my wicks I know I do not I, I don't I don't I light it and that's it that's all it's good for. <laughs> so that is crazy. The amount of soot that, that this, cre this one created and it didn't throw any scent. Now this is not attesting to all of the DW candles. I do have many DW candles. I do enjoy. I, I enjoyed this one, the matcha green tea latte. It had a nice grassy note. It might, I think it at first, um, didn't pull out all the way for the first one or two burns. But I, like I said, I burn a very long time, six, seven hours, eight hours at a time, um, all day. And by the second or third burn, it corrected itself and pulled out fine. Um, as you can tell all the way down to the bottom, which is, you know, some soot, not too bad. And it was a nice medium throw. It was grassy, fresh, kind of earthy note. I don't really know how to describe it, but I did like that one. Here is a Bath and Body Works one, Love Always Wins. I got this when it was the 75% off. And since I had multiple, I was like, okay, I will like this one. It's the Sun Washed Citrus, uh, Sugar, Lemons, Mandarin, Agave Nectar. This one was a champ, super strong, like my husband and I enjoyed this one so much because when it was lit, it like filled up the entire basement. That's where our office is down in a finished part of the basement. But the entire basement smelled like this. You got to the top of the stairs, you could still smell it. It was very, very strong and very nice. Not like overpowering. We just enjoyed it so much. The Homeworks Citrus Mojito scented candle. Love citrus, love mojito, mint scents. This one was the four wick. And this one was also, also very strong scented candle and just a nice, lovely scent. Uh, I think I got two of them because it was, you know, usually buy two um, for 40 and it burned really nice, hardly any sitting and all the way to the bottom without any issues. Um, so I really, really did like this one. DW birthday cake. Just a nice, sweet vanilla scent. It's kind of, got kind of dirty, as you can tell. I don't know. 
yeah, if there was something wrong or not, but no, I mean, it burned evenly and not like super strong, but it was nice enough for the room and sweet and nothing wrong there. This was a candle. I don't, LAFCO, LAFCO, New York. Lilac, my old boss had given me one of these, these for, I think a Christmas gift or something. And it was very nice. Not like super strong, like fresh cut lilacs by Bath and Body Works, but a nice lilac scent. And so, yeah, not like overpowering in the room where it was going to choke us out or anything. So we did really enjoy that one. Jelly Donut. So this Goose Creek had the colored wax. It burned pretty good all the way down to the end, pretty much. No real issues. A little bit of dirt. Um... I got this as a single wick and I was like, oh my gosh, this smells amazing. So authentic like jelly donuts. Let me get the three wick. On cold, the three wick I thought smelled like artificial and plasticky. And I was like, this does not smell like the single wick at all. It's going to be so disappointing. But when I burned it, it really did smell good. So I think like a lot of people have said, um, don't judge Goose Creeks on cold. Like once you are burning them and lighting them up, it does usually change and change for the better. So I was pleasantly surprised by this one burning. So that was good. One of the cheap single wick hostess candles, I think they, they made a bunch of like scented ones after their, their treats, desserts, um, found at CVS. So I went hunting down and tried to find them. And I was like, they were what, $2 or something like that. So this one was the cherry pie. It burned after like a day. Um, so pretty much, yeah, it lasted only a day. And yeah, I mean, it was $2. So really uh, didn't see the point of having this maybe in a bathroom. I don't really know. Um, and I had a bunch of other ones from them, but I just sold them all on Mercari because I was like, I don't really care to burn these anymore. Single wick of pink lemonade by Bath and Body Works from uh, SAS. And it was just such a nice scent. I have them in the three wicks, but I'm, you know, savoring those. So I was like, so happy when I found them cheap for single wicks. So of course I burned one. I burned the honeysuckle bouquet. Um, a lot of wax got left in this one. So that was kind of disappointing that it didn't uh, finish up the entire candle. Um, this is very strong, a very strong floral note. I love honeysuckles. My husband actually really liked it too. So, and I love the yellow wax, but yeah, just sad that it didn't burn all of the wax and that they don't have this in a three wick. Fresh orange, uh, in the single wick by Bath and Body Works. This one, it burned nice. Um, I think it also left kind of a decent amount of wax in the bottom. Um, just like the honeysuckle. Oh, it just smells burnt. But yeah, it was a nice fresh orange scent. So we like that one. This is uh, Goose Creek Key Lime, Key Lime Gelato. So don't be fooled by all of that wax. It really did burn like pretty much all the way down. And it's a nice creamy lime scent. Um, I don't think it was like too strong, but this is just the single wick. So uh they did release a three wick version of this now, but I figured since I wasn't too impressed with the single wick, I'll just pass on the three wick. Fresh, sp Fresh Spring Morning by Bath and Body Works, also from SAS. And I love this in the three wick. So I got the single wick and it did kind of, like I said, leave a good layer of wax in there. So that's kind of disappointing. You're spending all that money and it doesn't even get used up. I mean, I know you can like freeze them, chop them up, use a wax warmer or whatever, but I, I don't do that. No, <laughs> but that was a good scent. And last is DW Poolside Splash. This one burned nice. It did get sooty, of course, um, but burned all the way down to the bottom. Nice layer pool. And mm, it's the smell. It smells, it smells, it's a good smell. It's like ocean and breezy and just like, just like you're outside relaxing on the beach. So I do like that one. 
And that was everything I have melted in the past few months. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm sorry this is kind of a long video, chit-chatting and uh, showing you my candle purchases last weekend. But let me know if any of these are your favorite scents or if you have any um, to recommend. That would be greatly appreciated. And like I said, check out my friend Brittany's channel. She is just lovely and I love uh, watching her channels and hearing her talk about fragrances. So thank, thank you guys and I'll see you next time. Bye.